Hey everybody, it's Ped's Card Collection coming back at you with another video. And tonight we are opening up the brand new release in 2024 Topps Heritage Baseball. Boy, oh boy, has it been some time since I cracked open a new release. Really refreshing to open uh, some new product. And we are excited for this one because this is going to be the 1975 Topps design with the two-tone color. And I'm really excited for this rookie class and to see what these cards look like. So let's get right into it. Hope everybody's doing well. I really appreciate you tuning into this video. Let me know in the comments below if you are planning on opening any 2024 Topps Heritage or if you have opened any already. But let's get this out, get the packs out and see what our little buyback is. We got the... Tito Fuentes, 50-year anniversary. Get that one sleeved up. And with the hobby boxes, you get either an autograph or relic in every box. Most more boxes than not have relics, but um, you can get some really nice autographs. This heritage set is home of the two is, <laughs> is home of the red ink autograph, uh, serial number to that respective year. First year of Heritage was 2001 with the 1952 Tops design, and they've been doing it every year since, clicking one year up on the design. So, not the biggest fan of 1974 design, so last year I wasn't too, too crazy about. I do love the 73 design with the Bobby Witt rookie, um, but I think I'm even more excited for the 1975 design. So, let's get right into this, and... Got a pretty big milestone in Major League Baseball going on right now. Jackson Holiday got called up and is making his MLB debut, batting ninth, playing second base for the Baltimore Orioles. Highly anticipated Jackson Holiday, first overall pick in 2022, making his debut. That's a nice rookie there against the Boston Red Sox in Fenway Park under the bright lights. I had missed his first at-bat, heard he struck out, watched his second at-bat, he grounded out on a slider, second pitch to the A-B, low and away, hit it to second base, but beat out the double play, but what an exciting time for baseball, so many young stars, you got Jackson Holiday, you got Jackson uh, Churio, so it's the Jackson show right now, we got something turned around, see what our, might be a short print, might just be a fake out, but we got a Blue Jay, Jordan Hicks, so let's see if that is some kind of a variation. Ends in 25. The back is a different color. I don't know what the what the variation is, but I think this is a variation. If anybody has an idea, any idea, let me know for sure in the comments. But we'll get that sleeved up just in case. All right. Pack. I'm sorry, that's the wrong stack. We gotta do this in order. And sorry if I'm taking a little bit more time on this video. I definitely wanna kind of soak it in and give my complete analysis, but really liking the card stock and the design so far. It doesn't have that flimsy feel. It feels pretty sturdy. And uh, so far the QC looks excellent. So let's hope that that holds throughout the box. We got a Drew Rom rookie. Carlos Rodon, Jose Quas, responsible for that, partially responsible for that eight run blow lead debacle against the Ta Tatis and the Padres. Heard JD Martinez got a cortisone shot in his back, so that's that's good. I also heard Kodai Sang was moved to the 60 day IL, so not the best day for news for Mets fans, but as a baseball fan, I couldn't be happier with how everything's going. Max Meyer's back, finally he's healthy, he's pitching real well. And I'm just so excited for this year. Whit Merrifield. Lux is struggling. Seth Lugo is starting tonight. Casey Schmidt, that's a cool card. Otani, then and now. Mike Schmidt and Shohei Otani, that's a really neat card. Nolan Shonwell. Out of Florida Atlantic University, spent about, felt like, a week in the minors before getting called up last year. And he's been uh, one of the better 
players there for the Angels. How about Mike Trout, too, lighting it up early and often, coming out of the gate like he was shot out of a cannon. I mean, what does he have? Five, six home runs, leads the league. And he looks like he's got something to prove. Owen White. Hayden Wesneski. Ooh, I like that one. Caminero rookie. Brian Bayo. And we got a Jaron Duran. I've got a feeling these might be just like low numbers or something. So I'm going to set this one just to the side. I'm not going to put it on a stand just yet. But this Caminero is pretty sweet. I will get him sleeved up and stand it up. It's, you know, we'll just count that as a low number for now. Alrighty. Let's keep it rolling here. The Yanks are looking like a buzzsaw. And Soto... Volpe, Rodon even looks pretty, you know, really sharp this year, a lot better than last year. They got some good chemistry going on, too. That's really important in a 162-game season. CES, rookie. Slade Cassoni, Cassoni. Rookie. Cedric Mullins, Soriano, and Ha Sung Kim. All right, first pack in the first quarter of the box. Picked this up uh, today at my LCS and actually picked up four hobby boxes. Really wanted to get a fair shake at this product and hope to try for a nice red ink autograph. So we're going to be doing these periodically on the channel. Willie Adames, Jordan Lawler, rookie. That's a cool little insert. New age performers, Paul Goldschmidt and Austin Meadows. All right, first quarter in the box. Love the cards, love the design, love the hobby. Sorry I haven't been pumping out as many videos recently. I've been extremely, extremely busy, but I'm working my way back to getting on a more regularly uploaded schedule, but it does take some time. We got a Dean Kramer. I think that's another low number. Yeah, 65. All right. I did pick up some pretty sweet cards this weekend as well at the Chantilly Show, so be sure to share those on my next pickups video. Picked a few cards up from Twitter, stuff like that. So definitely going to pump that one out and going to be, uh, I know I keep saying that, but I got that PSA order I got to get through too and I got a lot of Jackson holiday parallels so now I'm a little extra motivated and then planning on going live this weekend barring you know something out of the ordinary um so hopefully we'll get live this weekend got Seaver flashbacks for a little card sale so hope to see you there some of the slabs from my last PSA submission will be available Right next up, Anthony Volpe. Looks like a new player this year, I'll tell you what. Way more confident, level swing. Terang has been lighting up too. Gary Sanchez on the low number. And Matthew Libertor. Cardinals coming out of the gate a little slow again this year. Jordan Walker, slow start. Gorman hit a home run the other night, but they got to get their young guys going in conjunction with their uh, their vets. Jackson Wolf, rookie. That's a cool one. Jose Fermin. Will Smith is batting like 420-something, 430. Jason DeLay. We got a rowdy on the high number. Jose Tana. All right, so it looks like we're getting a relic, which is okay. Tristan Casas, Nathan Eovaldi, Brad Hand, and a Justin Turner K-Muse mem card. So that is going to be our hit of the box, but still pull some chromes and variations. So we're going we're to keep on ripping, keep our eyes peeled. 
Justin Turner now at the Blue Jays. And started his career off with the Mets until they dealt him for a bag of baseballs and cash considerations. And then he just went on a rampage. I mean, he was he was good with the Mets, too. I don't know why they ever got rid of him. Ooh, I like that one. Otani on the uh, Dodgers. He's hitting real well. He was leading the league in hits a few days ago with 19, but it's been a couple games since then. But the Dodgers, I mean, from top to bottom, there's no easy out. There's no weakness, really. Uh, you know, Kikuchi had a lot of strikeouts today. I was bringing the Cheddar. Cole Reagan's a new ace. Uh, Mookie Betts, like that new age performers. And Noel V. Marte got popped for steroids. So we won't be seeing him for a little while. Kind of bummer. But I feel like the chrome parallels are going to look so beautiful in this set. So I'm just hoping to pull a nice rookie. Part of me wants to open all four boxes to see if I can get an autograph right now. But I know I have to pace myself and divvy it up. And then we still got two more tops jumbo hobby series 2023 series one i gotta get into finish that case we'll be doing that as well shane bieber so so tough to see him going down to the tommy john epidemic he started this year looking so promising it's like a new pitcher out of change up had 20 k's in his first two starts maybe no runs allowed and then you know i heard he knew his elbow was a little Feeling funky going into his second start, but he he said it was either you know he was either going to get better or he's going to need surgery. And in the major leagues, you got to just put everything on the line and go out there. And he that's what exactly what he did. He pitched his butt off, and unfortunately, uh, just uh, you know the UCL gave out. But we got a black rookie of Jose Fermin. So I think these are non-numbered, but they're technically limited to fifty. So that's actually a really neat card, and it's a rookie. So that's a Unless it's like a two-tone black, I'm not sure. Let me see what the back coat is. I need like a magnifying glass. I think that says 40. I'm pretty sure that's one of those uh, number to 50, print run of 50. So Jose Fermin, don't know much about him on the black border rookie print run to 50. That's a tough pull. Alrighty. Hagen Danner, Danny Tanner, Eddie Rosario, Max Kepler, Corbin Carroll, and Reese Olsen. Down to the last quarter of the box. It's been an okay box. Nice box to introduce us to the product. Let's see if we can finish strong. Hit us a nice chrome number refractor. Got a Tyler Stevenson low number. Where's that chrome? Got a Christopher Morrell. Jack Flaherty. Ooh, that's a white border Calhoun. I gotta imagine this is a short print too. It's also number to 40, or the code is 40, so I feel like this should be something. Cole Calhoun, there's no two-tone there. It's got to be a short print of some, some sort. All right, we got four packs to go. Here we go. Ryan Mountcastle. Brett Beatty's actually looking really nice. He's hitting the ball a lot better. Looks more confident up there. Nice to see that. Earl Weaver. Kodai Sanga on the low number cup card. Sideline to the 60 day out with the shoulder strain. But they're gonna have to patch up their rotation until he returns. Freelander Baroa. We are down to our last pack here, ladies and gents. Really appreciate everybody checking this video out. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit, hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments below. 
and I will be ripping a few more of these, so stay tuned for that. Alrighty, that is going to do it. Let's take a look at some of the hits. Got a bunch of low numbers. I'm not going to show all those off, but I will show some of these bad boys. Got the Otani. Otani insert, Mauricio, a couple nice rookies. Don't think we pulled an Evan Carter or Ellie, so hopefully we'll get those in the next couple boxes. But we got the short print Calhoun. We got the Turner Relic and the Fermin uh, short print. So that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will catch you all on the next one. Peds Card Collection out. Take care.